Welcome to the Mac 7 tutorial number 13, Intro to MIDI. Musical, Instrument, Digital, Interface. So before we get uh, started too much, I've got my blank window here and I'm ready to go. Um, what is MIDI? MIDI is a language that allows musical instruments and synthesizers and software to communicate with each other and it also allows for the transfer of musical data that's not um, uh, as intensive as uh, transferring typical digital audio data. And I'll give you a, a more on that in just a second, but let's get a window open right away. Type in the letter N in your unlocked patcher and type MIDI format. And what the MIDI format object does is it makes messages that are sent in the MIDI format. It, that's just what it is. So let's option click on that and get the help window. And then we have something that's all set up already. Let's unlock our help window, steal all of this stuff out of here, and copy it, close that window, delete that MIDI format and paste it right in there and look you have got yourself a whole MIDI format with all attached objects right here to look at. Um, so I'm gonna just get that a little bigger in the window there so we can look at it. Okay, so what I'm talking about is in a typical situation the audio that you listen to is sampled either 41 or 48,000 times a second and a number is assigned to the height of the wave. 48,000 times a second there's a number recorded for the height of an audio wave. That's a lot of data. In the case of MIDI what we do is uh, let's say you're playing the piano or something and you hit the number 60 and 127 and did, whoops, oh, let me turn the volume up there. Um, and you send it a 60 and a 127. There we go. And MIDI format sends this note, this number down here, 144, 60, 127, out to your computer's MIDI synthesizer. And when it's done playing that note, it sends this, 60, 0, or that's what your keyboard sends, 60, 0. And then MIDI format says, oh, turn that note off. And then it sends 144, 60, 0. Okay? You don't particularly need to know what the number is on this side of the MIDI just now unless you're doing something pretty fancy. What we're concerned about is this here and how we can make sounds using just these simple numbers. And it comes in pretty handy here. So let's... Um, expand our range of how we um, uh, how we make these notes and turn them on and off and that'll be our first lesson in MIDI here. Before I do that if any of you are not getting sounds I, f I always forget because my computer is already set up go down here to the MIDI out object which is sort of like the radio tower um, that sends out the MIDI information to your computer and just double click on it and you suddenly see all the MIDI options if you had any MIDI devices connected to your computer you'll see a whole bunch of different things now I have six different MIDI buses on my computer and you can expand the number of them that you have Max comes with two of them built in but you're not going to use those if you're on a Macintosh you'll see this this is your audio units oh good Good, I don't know what DLS stands for, but Synth 1, Digital, I can't remember, Digital Something Synthesizer. Anyway, Audio Units, DLS, Synth 1 is what you'll want if you're on a Macintosh. And I have to admit, I don't know what it is on a PC. Probably could be any number of different things depending on, your, um, on the configuration of your computer. Um, so... Sorry for that little break. Um, so 
let's replace uh, or let's at least move these numbers out of the way and start expanding what we can do with MIDI. So let's just drag those down there and we know what they are. That is, um, I guess I'll actually, do, well it says right here, <laughs> we'll drag those down right, right next to it and you'll start to notice that that one will be on the wrong side. Um, number 60 is the pitch and 127 is full on and 0 is off. In MIDI it's sort of interesting because you always have to send a note on and a note off or you can overload your synthesizer. So knowing that um, what we're going to do is put in an object here that that automatically sends out the note off. So type an N and type the word make note and look at mine just filled right in there and then oops I, I should hit a space not I, I hit the return and it jumped out of there make note and then hit a space and then just for to hit sort of a two-thirds or three-quarter on let's type the number 100 and then we'll type um, how long do we want it to last if we play a note and then what, what happens is we send this a note it'll play at velocity or volume of 100 um, for a certain number of milliseconds you all remember the milliseconds from the egg timer so let's just say a second and a half 1500 whoops I hit an A instead of a 1 1500 milliseconds and then if you mouse over the bottom here you'll see that's the pitch output and that is the velocity output remember velocity is like volume and so what we have to do is squeeze these two numbers together that are coming out of here and send them in MIDI format the object we use for that is pack not to be confused with pack pack um, so type the letter N type pack space zero space zero and that just pretty much tells it that it's going to do integers okay I'm gonna throw this note off away because it's bugging me now you know what a note off is you'll never forget it neither will I there we go pack we're packing that number into the MIDI format what number the notes out of make note here comes the pitch here comes the pitch <laughs> and here comes the velocity other known otherwise known as volume and then we'll put another message down here just for fun so that we can see what it's sending out when when it works and now we're gonna put something up here that'll make it more fun to play the piano uh, type letter N and type K slider there it is K slider and we get a piano keyboard nice and if you hover over the what? Oh, that's from our help file. We don't need that one. I'll just get rid of that. Okay. So if you hover over this um, outlet on the left-hand side, you'll see that it says the output's key value changed or received. Okay, key value is the same as um, pitch in the land of MIDI. And then we'll just run that in the leftmost outlet of the make note where it says pitch. And then if we go over here to the right-hand outlet, it says Velocity. And we come out of here, and we go over here, and into here, in the middle one. And that also says Velocity, so we've got them in the right places. What's the last one here? That is the duration, and we could change that if we wanted to, but we'll find a better way to do that in the next tutorial, I believe. So let's just leave that blank, and it will stay set at 1500. So let's just lock our patcher and choose a random key. Let's choose C. Whoop. If you notice, if you slide your pointer way up to the top of the key, it's much louder. So that's note number 48, and when I hit it, if you look down here when I hit the note, it'll be 48, 113, and then 48, 0. So make note gets that note coming into here lets it go for a second and a half and then turns it off and you'll also notice that 
it changed the velocity. It's no longer 100, it's 109. And the higher I go on this key, the higher I can get it to be. And the lower I go on the key, it'll be quieter. You can barely hear that. 4827 and then 480, which is good. That means it definitely turned that note off. Um, someday you will accidentally turn a whole bunch of notes on and you won't be able to turn, figure out how to turn them off. I have a solution for that, but not just now. So let's just um, go over this real quick. This slider, I'm going to unlock the patcher. I, I just love using messages for figuring out what's going on. So I'm going to put a message there and another message over there so we can just see exactly what is going on here. And we're going to lock the patcher and say, Mary had a little lamb. Here we go. D5231. I'm going to try to go higher on these so it's louder. 5207. Fifty one oh two, forty eight one oh seven, fifty one oh two, fifty two one oh two. So, whoops, fifty two, fifty, sorry, forty eight. So, Mary had a little lamb in the world of MIDI is fifty two, fifty, forty eight, on and on you go. MIDI's so exciting. All right, so that takes care of our notes coming in to MIDI format, and that's just part of this message that gets sent out. We have some other possibilities over here that we are going to work on in uh, future videos. But that is an introduction to MIDI for this week. Thanks for listening, and I will be back in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.